Now, police are pouring through surveillance videos like this one, trying to find the gunman or gunmen who fired several shots at two young people during art walk last night. This afternoon, the sheriff said the shooting that caused the chaos was not a random act of violence. This morning, police released the victims' names. They are 16-year-old Benoit Wilson and 17-year-old Gregory Richardson. Neither of them were seriously hurt, and police believe they knew the shooter or shooters. The sheriff says he is thankful no one else was seriously hurt or killed. And the search for the gunman is difficult because police are not getting the cooperation they need. But here's what we know right now. The sheriff does not believe the shooting is gang-related. He could not confirm whether the shooting was a retaliation for any other crime. Investigators say several different kinds of bullets were found at the scene. Action News Jax has team coverage of what's next for downtown after the shooting, including what may need to be done to keep families safe. Let's start with Action News Jax. Lorena Inkland and Lorena, the sheriff seemed confident that, again, the shooter or shooters would be caught. And Tanika, that's despite not having the cooperation, as you mentioned, from the victims right now. Now, this alleyway behind me is where police say that it all went down. But to give you a better idea of where we are, you can see that we're right next to that iconic Wells Fargo building right here. And over to our right, you can see there's the Jacksonville landing. So in the heart of downtown, and once those shots rang out last night, hordes of people at the Art Walk started running for their lives. You can see utter confusion and fear on people's faces in this dramatic Jimmy John's surveillance video. Many ducked, others tried hiding. It's the first shooting incident to happen at Art Walk in its 13 year history. You know, this has been a very unfortunate incident. Uh, very unusual in, in my understanding from my board of directors. Around 9.30 Wednesday night, JSO was called to the area of Laura and Bay Streets, where 16-year-old Benoit Wilson and 17-year-old Gregory Richardson were shot, one in the leg and the other in the foot. We don't believe this to be a random act of violence. The parties, again, we believe, know each other. Something brought them together. According to this police report, Richardson ran into Finn McCool's at the landing and passed out. Wilson was found in the alleyway bleeding from his leg. Police also found a gun holster on him with no gun. It's unclear, though, if the victim also fired a gun. So we know there are multiple, cal multiple calibers of firearms uh, uh, shell casings recovered at the scene. So yes, multiple multiple different weapons being fired. Sheriff Mike Williams says the victims have stopped cooperating with police, but local businesses and art walk goers have been a tremendous help. Sheriff Mike Williams says there could be up to two suspects in this case, and this could have easily been a very tragic situation. At 6, we spoke to our law and safety expert, Dale Carson, and the one thing he says people who are in crowds and have this happen make in situations like this. Reporting live in downtown, reporting Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Action News Jax.